hello guys and welcome back to a new video um the new ford explorer hybrid plug-in hybrid st line 2020 it's right here with me and i'm really happy to review it for you uh, as usually interior exterior and every single detail about the car as you can see automatic lift gate uh, i just want to show you uh, at the beginning with the key uh, of the car it's quite quite um, cool to have this future on the car um, first impression about the car it is a huge 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 car this um, new ford explorer and it looks a lot like um, range rover yeah like a range rover you know the the big range rover the v8 uh land rover range rover this is kind of the same size it's really beautiful i like the design it's it's look a lot like like uh, in the front i mean the front part look a lot like a uh, range rover uh, but i don't know this is my opinion i like the car i like very much the car it's very spacious here you have some information about the car so uh three liter engine v6 plug-in hybrid like i told you before uh then um you can see it has 363 horsepower uh and uh, yeah the basis price of this car it's 86,900 francs dollars and then um this this model here it cost 87,000 but with a discount 70 uh with the, with a discount you can see you have this premium discount for the hybrid you have 79,900 francs dollars around 77,000 euro then you can see it has two engines electric and also a petrol engine there it's also the consumption and also all the information that um, you probably are interested in um, anyway let me go inside guys to open up the, the light and also the blinkers i want to start with the lights and i want to show you the light of the car it is a, a beautiful car and i like it very much and also it has all that new technology from the ford uh, you can see here the the led lights on the mirrors as well as right here in the front um you can see it from here very well it's right there in the middle so i just have to tell you from the beginning that it's full led light even the daylight even the blinkers it is led so in the front the headlamps the tail light everything um led lights so um, in my opinion they look really beautiful uh, on the car i like the shape of the car um give you this this feeling of powerful car even in the back here now in the back guys the blinkers are not led light uh, just the tail light so you can see the blinkers is normal bulb light and also the reverse uh, it's bulb light but in the front it's full led everything in the front even the fog lamps are led but here in the back they chose that the blinkers and the reverse light to be a bulb light i don't know what's the reason anyway they look nice um but uh it is what it is a beautiful shape of the car you can see how huge is the car i don't know uh, on the camera if you can uh, if you can make an idea how big it is but i tell you it is a really big car and really explorer you can even you can really explore every single nature park with this suv uh, the mirror right here is quite big huge mirror it also have this blind spot technology right here in the corner i think you can see it very well right now big mirrors great visibility also nice shape there down here we have camera because this car have 360 degrees cameras also uh, led light to illuminate the floor in the night very useful feature uh, keyless entrance you can see the handle quite interesting and also it feel good quality um, when you open the door you can feel that sd line logo there and here we have the hybrid where you can uh, charge the car the battery actually so you have a fast charging uh, right here you are able to to charge it at fast charging and then um, let me go forward the camera here on the windscreen for the lane assist and also the car can read the traffic speed limit uh, the traffic signs 
Um, here you can see the Explorer, Explorer uh, writing on the headlamps. As I told you, uh, kind of the last LED light technology from Ford. It's here on the car, uh, the daylight and also the high bin, uh, low bin and all that cool tech. So they actually you can see it inside there. Um, the grill it's kind of big and glossy. Even down here, as I told you, the fog lamps they are so big and also LED light, really big. I don't know if you can make an idea on the camera, but this is this is this is a really big car. You can see you can see the the A class, the Mercedes A class, in the right side. <laughs> that it's almost as big as is this um, hood of the Explorer. And um, look at those lines. It looks so sporty, the front of the car. With those lines there, look pretty interesting. I like it very much. Um, really interesting. And also the big, they are so big, those headlight. They go all the way to the side of the car. Then the grill here, some glossy plastic. The air intakes down here. Then we have a front camera right here and the Ford logo in the middle. Um, then here we have some air intakes again where the air comes to cool down the engine. A radar right here for adaptive cruise control, emergency brake, all that cool feature. Then the parking sensors and down here we have some glossy plastic. Really interesting. Some rubber here to protect the articulation. It's very, very practical. And useful and here we have six parking sensors in the front and that's it um, the front guys um, yeah another cool feature that I like about the car is this plastic here around the edges these days someone hit my car with the door right here on this uh, area and if I had on my car these plastics uh, they, they will protect the car in time from rust from from scratching from stuff and it's very easy to change even down here this plastic if it's something happened with the car down here a lot of stones a lot of chips you can change this plastic very easy and much more cheaper than repaint the car uh, beautiful lines around uh, on the side of the car here even down up here as well um, it's kind of round shapes but but still make the car look good here kind of the a pillar are in black but the roof it's in blue we have a glass roof there and you can also add an extra truck uh, trunk up there on the roof of the car so pretty pretty cool also the windows kind of big around the edges of the windows we have the rubber kind of matte rubber around the edges and um yeah in the in the back here uh you can look at the the, the shape of the car it's quite beautiful in such a big car uh you can see the back part of the car it's quite quite huge also here in the back, the same plastic to protect the edges of the car. Up here you have the tank. So on the on the same size, uh, on the same um, um, place on the left side, the same as like uh, the battery charging port. The rims, they look also nice. Also, you can see they are 20 inch rims, guys. And um, yeah, you can see the brake calipers there and the brakes discs. Um, the car have ventilated disc. Here are the tires. I think a bigger rims on this car, they look much better, to be honest, but they still look good. And I think for economy, they are great. I like very much the spoiler design here in the back. The glossy black plastic around there and the spoiler up there look really beautiful and I like the shapes uh, here. The shapes, they are gorgeous. Also the brake light, LED, a wiper. And you have great visibility in the back because those windows there in the back, they are really huge. Here is the, the tail light. You already see it, some light reflector on the side and this here, it's LED. There you already see it the blinker and yeah what can i say uh again explorer logo here camera 
LED lights for the number plate. Very, very cool. Then going down here, some light reflectors. Uh, they are very useful in the night. And also there is the, the fog lamp, I think, in the same light reflectors. You can see the back of the car uh, look pretty, pretty interesting and strong. Uh, down there we have the exhaust pipe. We have four exhaust pipe, two on the left, two on the right. Some glossy plastic there um, on the bumper and also uh, six parking sensors again in the back on this uh, plastic bump. I think they use a lot of this kind of plastic on down down part of the car because these cars going off-road they will scratch all the time and you have to change that plastic all the time so um, in this way it's much much practical guys and also the camera I think it get it will get dirty very fast there um, so you have to wash it all the time okay so let's go inside the trunk guys now to see how much space we have here so at the entrance some plastic two hooks here on the side um, also we have seven seater um, here we have seven seat in the car uh, we have a flat floor entrance here and we have a huge huge space because the car is also huge 12 volt port here led lights those buttons are for the the seats you can see in the moment the seven seater you can fold it electrically down or up the way you want it a speaker there some storage space in the left side right here in the in the floor also in the right side we have some storage space uh, very practical and under the floor guys uh, we have another uh, storage space like uh, around 10 centimeter there and then under this floor again we have a, a spare tire right there very practical uh, for these off-road cars so um, yeah kind of cool uh, a lot of space here in the trunk and even if you have the seven seater up you still have a huge huge space in the car uh, you can see the there is the trunk protection you can also take it out very easily i will show you in a moment and also you can fold up the seats uh, super super easy let me go inside the car i like very much the way you open the doors the quality is very good it sounds good this rubber here everywhere so uh even here on the on the car you have this rubber and up here two 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 parts of rubber so it sounds very nice it feels good as you touch it good huge entrance in the car i have to tell you leather seats you can see the seats uh, are leather you can see three different position of the seat uh, you can adjust it the way you want it this is a good thing you can you can make plenty of adjustment here also the car have this glass roof that you see it before from outside i think you remember and um, yeah it looks very nice it's it's the ambient inside the car, the the it's it's fantastic. Also, you can fold down the seats very simply from from down here, and you can also fold it fold it uh, a little bit in the front from here. If you want to go in the back, you fold it up from here, so you have like kind of three possibilities, and then you have another possibility from down there. So in this way, you can go inside there without any problem. You can take this out. This protection for the trunk very easily with one hand it's a little bit more complicated let me put it here for a moment let me go in the back and take it out slowly it's very easy you can do that uh, with one hand as well uh, let me put it down and show you how much space you have with all seven seater up but i have to tell you this is one of the most spacious um suv with seven seat there you can see i press the button and the, the seats come out come up uh, themselves so you don't have to do nothing and why i say i will show you after that when i fold it down that's why i said you have plenty of space because look at the trunk now you have all the seven seats and you still have huge space here to put your your luggage usually you don't have so much space there in the back but in this um, new explorer you have plenty of space there also you can see the same great quality leather quality on the seats guys um and i will go there in the back for you and i'll show you some plastic here where you can put your your foot first time this is very good being here inside you can pull this up the headrest 
and you can see the leather, the, the quality is quite good. And I have to tell you one more thing. You, you are very comfortable here in the back and you have plenty of space because the car, it's very big. You have the seat belt here in the back and also the banquet are, are quite, quite uh, good quality. Also, let me fold back the seats to see the space on my knees right now. Here it's much more space because the seat, it's way, way in, in the front. But you can see in the middle part, it's kind of a normal, normal. Uh, size so you can see in the middle I have like three fingers here so um, this is kind of the space you have here in the back also here you have some cup holders some space some storage space up here some plastic and then you have this uh, window here with the vents there uh, the window is quite big so you have good visibility the head room it's it's a lot a lot of head space so no problem with the head we have here some LED lights on the roof um and the microphone and here we have the vents on the roof quite a bit interesting how they, the way they put the vents on the roof i'll show you in the moment also that way i told you the comfort here in the back is not bad i think i can be here even for long trips maybe a little bit pain uh, on my on the on your knees when you when you stay here for long long trips but um i don't think will be a problem for kids or stuff like that here is the vent guys another vent for the last passengers really impressive where they put those vents they chose to put the vents right here on the roof kind of interesting and here is the microphone i think you see it before um, but let me go forward a little bit guys uh, and let me show you the forward now i will fold back the seats um, in the original position also uh, from here, let me show you. Press the button, and then the seat it will fold back again themselves. And you have a huge trunk here where you can where you can take mm, huge things. I don't know; it's really huge um, space. So if you need a big, big SUVs with plenty of space, this is one of the option uh, to take. It's great, great car. Isofix here for kids. Um, as you can see it also you can adjust the seats from down here the way you want it you can pull this manually uh, the same as uh, in the front seat so you can put it the way you want it the middle part I think the middle part it stay fixed like that you cannot adjust it but anyway let me fold down all the seats to see how much space you have with all the seats folding down uh, look at that gorgeous it's so much space there in the back, you will see in a moment uh, after you fold it down. It's kind of impressive um, how much space you have and you can even sleep here, car carry mobile piece and fridge and stuff like that. Um, it is indeed a huge, huge space here. I don't know if you can make an idea on the camera, but in real, it is really huge. Look at the, the, the legs there, space. It's huge space on the legs, guys. A lot of space. Also, you have an ambient light under the front seat. Um, I like very much the ambient light. I will show you in the moment in this car. It's quite impressive. And from here, you can see better. You kind of have the roof with the glass roof that is in the normal car, huge. And then you have another roof here in the back. So, um, yeah, it's it's really big car, really long and big and uh, interesting. And I like the trunk. It's everything flat there. It's quite easy to, to carry your stuff. Um, really impressive. And the quality is not bad at all on the car. It's, it's quite good. The materials are awesome. And the leather, it's, it's very good um, right here in the back. And I like the fact that they have three individual seats, guys, here. Uh, you can see uh, every single person here has his own seat. So it's, it's kind of cool to have that in the car. That means you have much more space for yourself, and also the position of the seats are uh, great. Um, actually, to be honest, I don't really know how to put the, the middle part, the middle seats, a little bit in the back. I just try it, and I know only the side, but the middle, I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, 
this is the seat this this these are the seats guys the leather it's very good quality you can see these uh, red stitches there look very nice with the black leather they are soft they are super comfy um seat on the door now guys we have a big window here uh, also on the window we have this protection for the sun that you can put it up like that very useful and fancy soft material on the doors everywhere here uh, we have soft material kind of a rubber on the upper side then going down a little bit we have leather here uh, also ambient light in the handle i like very much the handle and the speaker and the stitches the riot stitches with leather also down here even this button it's nice with a little bit of chrome there uh, some storage space the speaker and this is the door uh, kind of a good quality in my opinion not bad at all uh, going inside back of the front seats we have some plastic and the storage space right there going inside very easily uh, in the car here in the middle we have this um, climatic uh, system adjustable to we have heated seat in the back USB-C USB normal too and then we have also this 230 volt outlet socket and then some space here where you can put your stuff so very very useful for 2020 plenty of plenty of good uh, feature and those usb ports are very useful so yeah up here the vent led light and a hook so we have we don't have any handle up here we have it here on the b pillar so if you um, if you want to hold something you hold that there are two cup holders in the middle also some leather armrest pretty awesome in the middle seat and here i just tried to adjust it but i don't find um the place on how to adjust this plenty of space on my knees on my on my legs down there also i can almost stretch my legs plenty of space on my head um, as you see it here and also the good good visibility on the windows no problem with the visibility guys so you have a great great visibility outside and i like that very much going in the middle also there it's a little bump and i like that you can stay with your legs even together so you have plenty of space here in the middle and the seats are great headspace great no problem uh free people here no problem uh, you can stay here free people my hand it's almost stretched there so uh from this point of view it's pretty awesome and also you have a good visibility or nice visibility uh up there on the roof armrest in the front leather you can see the red stitches the dashboard uh design it's pretty nice also the steering wheel look great um the multimedia system the new digital cockpit look gorgeous and yeah we will go in the front now and i will show you um i like very much this ambient light on the doors uh, it looks very nice this color um, but let me go in the front to see the front part right now here guys we have a big window um, great visibility again here on the door soft material rubber right here then we have leather with red stitches insertion even here the same as in the back handle are great great handles and also the ambient light there the buttons for saving uh, electric position of the seat then we have electric adjustable mirrors uh, windows as well and then down part we go here we have some storage space here's kind of plastic but uh, storage space ambient light and also the speaker right there so pretty awesome entrance in the car guys we have this st line uh, logo with some aluminium then we have uh, electric adjustable seats you can adjust the seat so you can see the seats was maximum in the back right now so i still have plenty of space in the back you see before and those seats those driver seats are way maximum in the back wow really impressive i didn't know that and i still have plenty of space on my knees so uh indeed it's huge space in this car uh, also the seats look gorgeous uh they are very comfortable i like to sit on them and uh, the quality of the leather is it's also very very good
even for long trips they are they are awesome those seats here you have the, the fuse box and then here we have the light i like the ambient light this blue white ambient light look gorgeous also the buttons for the lights and open the trunk open the the gas tank door and yeah up here we have soft material rubber soft material and some kind of a nice design insertion there on the dash i like the the vents on the ford all the vents in the ford in the new ford they feel so nice so smooth uh, they did a great job with that and also here it's soft material everywhere on the dash kind of a rubber all over there um and you can see it from here here is soft material we have a speaker uh and Pretty nice design on the dashboard. It's pretty simple. All the cars, uh, all the cars manufactured these days try to make it simple to have a great visibility. Also, LED lights on the mirror, on the mirror here look great. Uh, the quality on the roof, it's also great. Here we have some LED lights, and of course the 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 buttons for the for the roof, glass roof, and here we have a glassy support. Then going forward, the mirror look nice. The visibility in the back is great. Um, and also, yeah, let me close the door now for a second. I want to show you the, the ambient light, but let me show you now um, the ambient light. Here is the start stop button. And you can see the new digital cockpit right there, guys. Uh, also blind spot technology in the mirrors. Uh, there we have the new digital cockpit from Ford. It's gorgeous. It, it is as nice colors. You can customize different stuff. It's really awesome. And also the multimedia system. It's, it's great. You see it on the Ford Puma before. So uh, as I told you, the ambient light inside the car, you can see it right now. It's gorgeous, guys. Uh, this is something that I want to show you. So you can see here on the roof, uh, on the door, look as well here is the armrest then we have a LED light and huge space here in the middle and also there we have a 12 volt port and plenty of space uh, down there I think you can see it like that huge space there um, I like it I like this space here you can put a lot of stuff there and then a little bit forward we have this place where you can charge your phone wireless really awesome then we have the two cup holders, the center um, console here with two cup holders. We have this driving mode uh, right there, right here with the ambient light. It's really simple to change the driving mode. We have the buttons for AV, electric uh, driving, and also the parking, automatic parking, electric handbrake, auto hold, very useful. And my favorite gear shifter is right here. Uh, look how cool it is. You know that Hyundai have a similar one on the electric cars. Uh, and then uh, Ford have this gear shifter very simply here. This wheel is super awesome. You save a lot of space here on the center console. USB-C, USB normal right there, 12 volt port. A lot of space even here in the front. They are illuminate. I like those USB illuminated. It's, it's much better like that. It's looked really great. I like it very much. I like this center console. It's very practical. And I like also this uh, climatic system. This car here have heated seat, heated steering wheel, ventilated seat in the front from for the summer. It's really awesome. I like ventilated seats when, when you're as getting sweat in the summer. It's not so good. Uh, and this car have all that future. And even in the back, you have heated seats, so it's really awesome and really simple to change this. Here we have the camera uh, uh, around the car because the car has 360 degrees camera, so you can see it right now on the screen. I just want to show you also the lights are open on the car right now. Um, and the other button is for the, the parking sensors, the blinker and the controllers for the multimedia system right here, volume. And the multimedia system is the same one as on the Ford Puma, the new one. Uh, the same, uh, it's here on the uh, new Explorer. Um, also, everything looks nice. I like the way it feels. The vents has great quality. Also, this trim here, it's, it's awesome. Going down here to the glow box. 
and we have uh, some space here in the glow box. I was expected to be a little bit bigger, but yeah, it's still plenty of space in the car. You have other storage space bigger in the car. Um, and the steering wheel, it's great, great quality. Um, as you touch it, it's, it's leather, nice. We have these little holes there on the side red uh, stitches insertion it look really nice and also the buttons are great very easy to use those buttons here are the controller for the, to the, the display there i will show you a little bit later the clappers for changing the gear manually if you want to do that the screen it's nice the colors are nice the resolution it's great you can customize in many ways uh, that screen right there um, and I will show you a little bit later at the end of this video. Uh, you can see even when you close the, the, the car, it shows you a nice picture with mountains and stuff like that. Uh, and it's the resolution, it's great. It's the same as you watch on a laptop or a tablet or something like that. It's quite, quite awesome. Um, now here, the multimedia system here in the middle, guys. I don't know if you see the review with the multimedia system, but uh, I will just show you a little bit right now. So here you have the, the navigation system. Um, it's worked really, really much better, much more improved from the previous version. You have the radio, the telephone, uh, this shortcut button down here, application here, mobile app. You can connect your mobile. The car can connect to the internet. Here you have the energy flow. Um, because this car it's a plug-in hybrid so you have this energy flow they tell you how much battery you still have here's all the um, uh, assistant safety assistant blind spot uh, adaptive cruise control you have this um, all kind of safety feature the cameras the, the when you when you pull something with the car uh, you have those safety settings like uh, like a caravan when you have a caravan the, the the car help you to park better anyway here you have all that information about and all that settings about different function like ambient light inside the car for example you can change the ambient light inside the car so let me choose a different color right now you can see it's blue before it was a green that beautiful green you can make it red like that you can see it before let me show you red. You can see that red there also on the cup holders. It's red. Um, or you can make it the other color, whatever color you want from here. You can change in orange, for example, right now. Anyway, um, yeah, and all other settings here, guys. I make another full review with this multimedia system from Ford on my channel. Um, I actually use the, the new Puma car there. It's, it's very similar with that. Uh, you can check it out there. Uh, I make it pretty simple here. It's nice. It's very easy to adjust every settings here. Um, but I guess you get the point. It's not uh, like what we see on the new Mercedes, but it's a big, big improvement. And you have all you need here. It's pretty simple. You don't need a computer inside the car. You just need to, to do what you need to do uh, when you are driving so anyway um yeah guys i guess um that was the multimedia system and uh, around the car i want to show you that it's plenty of great visibility good visibility around the car even though the car have 360 degrees camera you don't have to worry about the visibility even on the mirrors even uh, outside there it's plenty plenty of visibility right now the lights, the LED lights are open in the front. And you can see from the front the way they look. Uh, and they look pretty nice. And in the night, they, they, they make a lot of light and you have great, great um, visibility with those uh, new LED lights from the Explorer. So, great. All right. So... Let me close it now. You can see also there in the front the way they, they illuminate. Let me close the light, guys. Let me go inside. And um, yeah. So now, guys, on the end, um, I just want to show you a little bit of the, uh, of the new digital uh, cockpit on the Explorer. Um, 
the problem was that you have to start kind of start the car to be able to see all that option and uh, function on the on the cockpit so now here i just open up a little bit for you and i want to show you that you can drive in sport mode you have different style different type of driving there you can customize the screen right there in the front um, in different different um, uh, ways and this is pretty nice and the screen it's it has really amazing colors and Right here, you can change um, the way the modes you're driving in. So when it's snow, when it's normal, uh, when you want to drive echo, so you have different modes of driving here. And you can also customize there in the front uh, the way you want to see it. Also, you can see the, the speed limit there in the right side. You can customize the things, navigation, audio, telephone, and also um, you can put your your way to home to navigate from here you will not see the full map navigation like you see it in other cars for example like in mercedes or like in um, bmw or audi but you will see just the indication right there on the left side on the screen um, and also you you have all kind of information here on the screen so um yeah just just to know guys just as an information um it's not very complex but you still can change many many things here um in the in the digital display in the new one so it's it's anyway much better than the normal classic one so guys i guess that was the video that was the review with the new ford explorer i hope it was helpful for you guys if you like it please share it like it um and uh, please subscribe to my channel also i wait you in the other videos with pleasure and thank you again for watching don't forget to subscribe don't forget to check out my other videos and see you soon guys bye